The Imperial Sand Dunes are the largest mass of sand dunes in California. They extend for 40 miles, averaging about 5 miles in width, some rising to the height of over 300 feet. The summers are hot, over 110 degrees. However, the mild climates in October to May attracts thousands of off-road vehicle riders to the area. Prevailing winds cause the dunes to migrate toward the southeast at a rate of approximately one foot a year. The primary force shaping the dunes is the wind. As the sand grains blow over the crest, they go over the brink into the air, so still that they simply drop straight down. Some sand grains land high on the leeward slope, which tends to oversteepen the slope. So from time to time, thin tongues of sand slide down it. For this reason, the upper steep portion of all the leeward slopes are referred to as the slip base. Here are some samples of how the sand slides down the hillside. I always enjoy going to the desert during a windstorm and watch how the dunes are slowly changed. The winds quickly erase any traces of human activity. On the northwest side of the dunes, the BLM has created a parking area for RVs and off-road vehicles. During the season, thousands of vehicles will be parked in this area. On the way back to San Diego, we stopped at Five Palms Hot Springs on the west just west of the dunes. During World War II, General Patton used a lot of the desert for his tanks. There were temporary barracks in the area, and he sunk a wellhead down several hundred feet. He hit hot water instead of cold. The original metal wellhead was in the middle of the spring. Over time, the pipe rusted out and it had to be replaced. Locals from Brawley, California, replaced the top part of the pipe and sealed it several feet down. The water isn't real hot, but it is definitely warm. During our visit, a couple people were enjoying this spring. Be warned, this is a clothing optional swimming hole. 